two different we got two different situations to talk about as far as like e collars go mm -hmm. because you had you had said should I put the e collar on the correct and for it mm -hmm. and by and large yes that is the answer but there is a much better way to do it that is going to be a lot clearer to okay. them is what I would do is instead of getting a remote uh, a remote controlled mm -hmm. e collar. What I would do is instead, as I would get a bar collar. Okay. So, so you, so you put the bar collar on it, mm -hmm. and then you go through the repetition of, mm -hmm. uh, I start barking, it corrects me. Mm -hmm. The stimulation that made me want want to bark in the first place stuck around. Mm -hmm. It showed itself to be friendly, mm -hmm. you know, because no animals in nature give other animals food unless they're friendly mm -hmm. with them. So, I mean, like if we end up giving him food, mm -hmm. then we the, then he doesn't have any other way of understanding that, mm -hmm. yeah, like I'm friendly with you and I'm pleased with you. Mm -hmm. So we, we go ahead and do that. And then we do that repetitiously okay. to the point that, um, that he starts to understand that, mm -hmm. yes, yes, new people tend to mean correction on the collar, mm -hmm. but it only happens whenever I bark and I get into this frantic state of mm -hmm. mind of I want to keep you away. Mm -hmm. and, and, okay. the, and so they get a direct connection of cause and effect mm -hmm. of it's not just new people that are causing this, it's in the presence of new people when I bark mm -hmm. and when I become aggressive. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so then the, the, it, because of the consistency of the bark collar, because the bark collar is just work every single time like mm -hmm. there's no variable it's not whether you have the remote control mm -hmm. yeah. and work in perfect timing because mm -hmm. if he starts barking and then he stops barking mm -hmm. and then you and you're slow on the correction and yeah. you end up correcting him as he stops barking then he might have the opportunity to think <coughs> that uh -huh. um, he's being corrected for not doing his yeah. job uh -huh. which he thinks his job is to bark at these people yeah so he'll think that i'm not doing my job and so now i just got corrected for not doing my job mm -hmm. and so therefore we could actually encourage the yeah. aggressive behavior and so the thing about it is this is that we don't have you know obviously he's not mm -hmm. a bad dog mm -hmm. he's 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 not not a bad dog at all you know he just doesn't understand yeah, I, guess, I mean he just gets in a frenzy right oh. in the very beginning and you know once usually oh, yeah. someone comes in then he goes up into him and sometimes he'll like kind of like you know like snap at him like mm -hmm. that you know punch at him um, yeah yeah they, um, they do that but where they go. Did, yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah um and but he did recently make contact you know mm -hmm. with someone he went you know bit through the jean right. pants and stuff um but, but then, you know, after, uh, you know, a minute or two, then he does calm down. Then all of a sudden he's, you know, friendly and he realizes, oh, they're okay. You right. Know? But and it's so just like an need, initial what, thing where he's just like a maniac, you know. So what we need to do is, is we need to have some repetition of that. Uh -huh. We need to know whenever somebody's coming along and have yeah, and have our, our have our safeguards in mm -hmm. place. You know, okay. I mean, like if, if it just means the so front okay. door that they can come in stays uh -huh. locked all the time. And I mean, if somebody, I don't know about you, mm -hmm. but if somebody knocks at my door, mm -hmm. they can wait. Like they came asking for my attention, so if I need to take uh -huh. a couple minutes to make sure that yeah. my dogs are under control, because uh -huh. I have a mastiff, uh -huh. and she doesn't like people coming in the door unless mm -hmm. uh, you know unless they're approved. Yeah. And so what I do is, is I set the situation up to make sure uh -huh. that she understands that they're approved mm -hmm. before I give her access to them. Okay. So the control in that situation is exactly the right answer.